Hello guys, Luke here, welcome back to the channel. If any of you ever wanted to upgrade your Xbox One hard drive, but have never wanted to rip apart the enclosure to get at the hard drive, today we're looking at a product that we'll be unboxing and reviewing, which is the Xbox One Hub. Now this Xbox One Hub acts as a hard drive enclosure as well as the USB 3.0 Hub. So it gives your Xbox One an extra three USB ports, although it takes away one port because it mounts onto the side where one of the USB 3 ports are. The idea of this hub is to allow your Xbox One to have an external hard drive connected up, basically, but not look ugly like having an external hard drive hanging off it via USB cord. So let's unbox this guy and have a look. Before I start unboxing, guys, one thing to keep in mind when buying one of these hubs, they all have different uh, specs, so uh, they might support different size hard drives. So this one, the drive needs to be 12 millimeters or less, which is awesome, actually, because uh, laptop hard drives pretty much only get as thick as 12 millimeters. I actually have a 12 millimeter thick hard drive here, laptop hard drive from Samsung. It's a one terabyte SATA 3. The one inside your Xbox One is only a 500 gig SATA 2 drive. So we should get faster speeds, faster load times with that. And of course, like all other, all hard drives attaching to the Xbox One, it must be 256 gig or greater capacity. This thing pretty much attaches to your Xbox One and doesn't look out of place it, it should fit perfectly with it and it's better than having just a, a hard drive an external hard drive connected just hanging off the system so let's unbox this thing so we've got it let's have a look at this thing is it upside down yes it is okay. and there is the hard drive enclosure slash usb hub Noisy plastic. And here she is. All right, so you can see on the front there, we've got three USB 3.0 ports. Um, I don't know how fast they're gonna actually be because this thing operates off one USB 3. So of course, if you're gonna have multiple uh, storage devices powered off this thing, I doubt you're gonna get full speed from all three. Probably even from one, because again, we're gonna have an external hard drive in here. so. Uh, that's going to take up most of the speed. These, I'd, I'd say, just for charging and controllers or something like that, or playing music off the USB. On that side of the Xbox will be the sync button for your controllers. And now that's been moved across to this thing. So now we can press here, and that operates that button to push the sync button on the side of your Xbox One. Is this some sort of ventilation here? I guess so, yeah. So I guess the ventilation carries through from that side as well. I think there's uh, vents on that side of the Xbox One. So those vents will still be able to push heat out through this hub. So let's have a look at the hard drive enclosure. A bit tough, hold on. There's the caddy for the hard drive. So I've got my one terabyte Samsung drive here. Ah, I see. So that clamps on top of there. Pretty easy mounting system. Basically plugs into the SATA ports on the end. This clip holds the drive in place and you're good to go. <laughs> as easy as that. Basically now we've got a one terabyte external hard drive in a much bigger form factor, but it'll look sweet on the side of our Xbox One. So let's put on the Xbox One now and see how it looks. Okay guys, so here we have our original Xbox One, our fat one, it's not the S model. So on this side is our USB 3.0 port and our sync button. We also have two around the back. So after this upgrade, we're gonna have five total USB 3.0 ports. So let's put this thing on, see how she matches up. It's a little bit tough. Let me have a look here. Aha. Okay, now the enclosure has been attached. Uh, I was worried about those metal clips for a second there. They were folding in. I wasn't sure if it was actually gonna go on properly, but Looks like we've succeeded. So now that we've attached the Xbox One hub to the original Xbox, let's power the system on and check it out. Okay guys, now we've powered on our Xbox One and straight away we get met with a, a message here saying, do we want to use the hard drive for media or do we want to use it as a game storage? So we're going to format the storage device. It's doing its thing. Oh, uh, yep, okay, so the external storage is ready. Let's have a look. Okay, there's currently nothing here. You can see down the bottom left, we have 931 gigabytes free. So, 
Let's uh, test this out. We'll move a game there. And let's have a look at the speeds here. So it seems to be copying all right. Um, I believed it was going to be faster than this, but oh well, let's just give it some time. This game is only 2.2 gig and I imagined it would be faster to copy across than this. Um, it is a little slower than I thought it would be. Okay, the copy's finished. Now let's copy this back across. The read speed of the external seems to be a lot higher than the write speed. That's interesting. Well, that was a lot faster to copy across. I guess this is good because uh, most of the time you'll be reading data off this drive, not writing to it. So game loading times, um, you know, loading things basically will be a lot faster. As you can see down the bottom left, we've used 92.6% of our internal drive. We've only got 26 gig left, which means I can't install another game unless it's an older title or a title with less uh, textures. That's awesome. Now I can actually have more games installed because I've had to actually uninstall games off this system to fit some of these on. Like for example, Halo 5 uses 98 gigabytes. So there you have it guys, the Xbox One hub for the original Xbox One, which lets you have a hard drive in it, is a great buy actually. Um, this is only $32 on eBay, free postage. So if you've got an old Xbox One and not enough uh, hard drive storage on it, definitely go and pick one of these up from eBay. Just search Xbox One hard drive enclosure on eBay and you'll find the, there's plenty of them. They're, they're all about the same price, 32 bucks. There are some for 28 bucks, but they're from Hong Kong. So you'll have to wait longer and hopefully it won't get damaged in transit. But um, to be honest, just, just pay the extra four bucks, pick one up from uh, inside Australia would be better. So yeah, a very easy way of upgrading your Xbox One hard drive storage without breaking the bank. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys around the channel. Have a good one.